part one of things I wish I had known before I went to law school, today on The Legalist. Hi, I'm Lee Davis, attorney and owner of Lee Davis Law in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is The Legalist. The law is complicated. Let me help explain. I'm going to talk to you about things that I wish that I had known before I went to law school. If you saw episode four, my journey to becoming a lawyer, you'll remember that I didn't know very much about the law at all. I didn't even know that I wanted to go to law school or that law school was even a thing. It took me getting into a sticky situation in which I had acted like an idiot and had to fight my way out for me to figure out that law school was what I wanted to do. The first thing that I wish that I had known before I went to law school was I wish I had known another practicing lawyer before I went to law school. Someone that I could talk to and learn about what life as a practicing lawyer is really about. Sort of like the things that I talked about in the last episode, about what it's like to be a practicing lawyer, that most of the work isn't standing in court and arguing in front of a judge or a jury, but most of it is sitting at your desk in front of your computer or meeting with clients, talking to them on the phone, answering an endless stream of email or doing legal research and writing. 99% of the law happens in your office. 1% happens in court. I would have liked to have known that beforehand. I don't think it would have made any difference, but it certainly would have disabused me of some of the romantic notions I had of being a lawyer. But I wish I had known a lawyer who could tell me about what the financial obligations of going to law school are like. Because it is expensive. Tuition at law schools range from the absurdly expensive to the outrageously absurdly expensive. And most people have to go to school on student loans, like I did. You can come out of law school owing several hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans. And while it may seem like, well, that's just a problem that I'll deal with once I get there, Think about it in advance. That's what I wish I had done. A several hundred thousand dollars worth of law school debt is not going to be at a favorable interest rate. That's going to be like a house payment on a house that doesn't even put a roof over your head. That's something I wish someone had told me about before I took out student loans. I'm not sure what I would have done differently, but I would have liked to have known the information beforehand. And I also wish that I had known a practicing lawyer before I went to school so that that person could have told me what I needed to know before, during, and after I went to law school. But hey, that's why you guys have me today. Your undergraduate degree really doesn't matter that much once you get to law school. While there are the traditional majors in college that people think of as being pre-law, there is nothing in law school admissions that require a certain degree other than a bachelor's degree. Some of the traditional pre-law degrees are history, or English, or political science. When I got to law school, I had friends who had degrees in all types of different disciplines. English, psychology, engineering, mathematics. And none of it made any difference once we got to law school. My recommendation for you, though, if you're looking for an undergraduate degree to prepare you for law school, find something that requires you to write, read a lot, do a lot of research, and be able to organize your thoughts in a coherent manner. I personally chose history. History checked off all of those boxes for me and it served me very well. If I had to give a recommendation to someone on an undergraduate degree to get before law school, I would say pick one that's going to require you to read, research, and write. A lot. That will prepare you for law school. I chose history and it served me well. Just like you had to take the SAT or the ACT before you got into a college that you wanted to go to, you're also going to have to take a test in order to go to law school. It's called the LSAT, or the Law School Admissions Test. You need to do your best to try to ace the LSAT. I don't like standardized testing any more than the next person, but this is very important because law schools place a lot of emphasis on your LSAT scores. You can have pretty decent grades in college, but if you blow the roof off of the LSAT, you're going to get all kinds of offers to go to law school. And today, law schools offer scholarships, which is something relatively new to me. Law schools, just like universities, want to attract the best and brightest students to their school. And so law schools have started giving scholarships to students who do well on the LSAT. Luckily, there are prep classes that you can take. Take one, take two, and practice.
Practice, practice, practice. Do as many practice questions as you can possibly do before the big day. All of those practice questions that will come in your preparatory materials are questions that have been asked on past exams. And every one of them has a way for you to figure out how to navigate the question in order to find the right answer. There'll be several different sections on the LSAT, and quite frankly, I don't remember what all of them are. But I do remember that every single one of them had an approach, and you need to learn that approach, and you need to learn how to apply it to each question. Knowing the approach is about 80% of being able to do well on the LSAT. Well, that's all we've got for today, but join me for the next episode where I go into applying for law school, how to pay for law school, and really, most importantly, how to maximize your opportunities during your first year of law school. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to look me up on social media at Lee Davis Law, or go to our website, a differentlawfirm.com.